What's going on, world? It's E-Class, man. We just about to break down uh, my verse of Mad Max. Welcome to the Terra Dome world premiere. So what I meant by that was, um, it's not about rap. It's not about rock. This is, uh, the meaning was much deeper than that. Uh, um, the whole song is about spiritual warfare. So when I say it's all about being a soldier, what I meant by that is uh, you have to be a spiritual soldier. You have to be, because it's a spiritual war out there, basically. That's what the whole premise of the whole song is. Um, we walk into the valley of the shadow of death with the devil. And you know you got no heavy metal. Heavy metal is often used to talk about a gun, but I meant heavy metal as far as the music. And this ain't about ACDC. This is all about John 316. Because I'm more than a conqueror. And I can even lose in the world. What I meant by that was, uh, once again, making it clear that it wasn't about rap, wasn't about rock. It's about uh, John 3.16, for God gave his only son, uh, and uh, I'm more than a conqueror. That's, a, that's from a separate verse, but because of John 3.16, because God gave his only begotten son, I'm more than a conqueror. And I can't even lose if the world is against me because I realized that uh, <clears throat> the message that we give out in our music it's something that the world naturally is going to kind of fight against. I ain't worried about being different, homie, because I done study my scriptures. When the world screams fire in the hole, I'm Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendigo. Uh, what I meant by that was, right now, uh, the way I see it, we're in our own lane of music. Like, there's gospel rap out there, and there's hip-hop, and there's gangster rap, there's dirty south rap. But really, we're in our own lane. We're not trying to fit a mold. Uh, I'm not trying to fit a particular type of music. We're just talking about what we want to talk about, coming straight from the heart with it. And uh, but so it might come out to the world as weird, like what? What are these dudes doing? Like nobody's doing this. But in, if you look at the Bible and look at biblically, everybody that was pure and followed God were considered weird. You know, these was they weren't popular dudes. But I'm saying I'm not worried about being different as far as our style of music because I've studied my scriptures. Uh, what, I, what I meant by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was basically I don't follow the rules of the world. So when the world screams fire in the hole, and really where I got that from is um, I was in Iraq. I've been in Iraq, and uh, the whole time I was there, I just had this peace over me. And I realized the reason for that is because I wasn't going by what the world told me. You know, the world screamed fire in the hole. And I was looking at myself like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There's a scripture they were put into a fiery furnace, and they came out unscathed. <clears throat> I used to do things my own way. To the Lord, me down one day. Put a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And he told me walk this um, <clears throat> I'm talking about a point in my life where I was doing things, not even negative things. Um, that's the crazy thing about spirituality is you. People always try to say it's the difference between good and bad. But it's not. It's the difference between God and not of God. So if it wasn't I was doing bad things and out there doing things that I shouldn't have necessarily done. It's just I was doing it my way. Like I said, I want to make money. I want to do this this way. And this is how. these are the steps I'm going to make in my life. But I made my own decisions. And I said, uh, I used to do things my own way until the Lord broke me down one day. Because I reached a point in my life where I just realized that I had to trust in God for everything. So he broke me down one day, put a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Those are both scriptures, and he told me, walk this way. But that's also um, walking the way of the Lord, and it's also a shout-out to the very first rap rock song to make it big and open the doors for what we're doing today. Run DMC. I don't want to feel like the pain won't end, and I feel like the rain won't stop on my knees I drop. And you better do what I do, because I have learned to lean on the rock. Even when the odds are stacked against me, homie, I should fear no evil, because I have learned to lean. A lot of times when you're going through trials and tribulations in life, you feel like you have nowhere to turn. I've been there, but I'm telling you, I've learned to lean on the rock, which is an old Jubilee song. But what made it uh, dope to me, what made it rock to me, was that this is a rap rock song. So uh, it was kind of like a play on words, but basically saying just depend on God on whatever you're going through. I don't care what you're going through in your life, lean on God. Yeah, so man, I broke the I broke the verse down for you. So make sure you go back, listen to it, uh, dissect it, look at it from a different point of view. It's almost like a. I was telling Dwayne this this song is almost like a movie. Like you can you can see it play out. And there's some movies you gotta let watch two or three times. You, you learn something different from it every time, and that's the 
that goal that we shoot for, I mean, to go back and listen to it again, and listen to it again, and listen to it again, and uh, get something new from it every time.